their cars that the auto companies say they can't make without subsidies and that they're too expensive to make. They're all electric cars, they don't use gas, they don't use oil, and they claim that they can't make them without subsidies. Even with subsidies, they're too expensive to make. So now that the government has given $4 billion to Chrysler uh, in subsidies, let's see where it's going. It's going into 0% financing for 72 months with zero down and zero payments for 90 days to buy uh, trucks and cars, trucks, Big cars, SRT8, <laughs> the 2000 and Dodge, Dodge Journey, $18,900 with uh, uh, 3000 about $5,612 in discounts from the manufacturer's suggested price. So the, the money that's coming from the government at $4 billion goes to, goes to pay for subsidies for gas guzzlers. Now here too, they see the same thing. Dodge advertising with its uh, $4 billion of taxpayer money advertising discounts on gas guzzlers. And this amounts to a subsidy from the taxpayer to the gas company. The auto company doesn't make the money. The auto company takes the money and gives it in rebates to the customer. The auto company makes less money and the argument for making the consumer buy this is to say, well, that $4,000 that you're, $8,000 that you're getting in discounts go, will buy a lot of gas. So why don't you buy this thing anyway? You know, it's a 300C and you can drive it around. Even though it gets lousy gas mileage, you're getting a total of uh, uh, $14,000 off of it. $14,000 off. Wow of guess whose money? Uncle Sam. Now they won't subsidize electric cars, but they subsidize Let's see what General Motors is doing with its subsidies. The red tag sale. Well, General Motors has a Saturn division, which is supposedly all American cars made in America, to showing how to beat Toyota at their own game. Well, $5,000 in taxpayer money is going to knock the price of this uh, this Astra down. But what is an Astra? In reality, if you do a search on the internet for Astra and uh, Opal, you'll find that the Astra is really an, an Opal and it's imported here. It's a German car. It's not an, even an American car. And we're getting $5,000 in taxpayer subsidies for this uh, Aura, 2009 Aura, which is really a, an Opal Vectra. If you do a search, you'll find out that's a Vectra. And this $8,000 off of this view, this is a Saturn view, knocked down to $18,000, but a Saturn view is really in the Opal Antera. <laughs> and the, um, here we have the sky. Now this is a $3,000, $700 savings of taxpayer subsidies to pay for the sky, which is still pretty expensive. And, but that's really uh, an Opal GT. The one car, <laughs> that's made in America gets seven thousand dollars in subsidies to bring it down because it's still overpriced even though the euro is high and that is the uh, Buick Enclave based uh, Saturn uh, Outlook which comes from Lansing, Michigan and was uh, devised in 2006. That will probably be the last Saturn that's ever made in this country since all the rest of them are really German cars. <laughs> And American subsidies are going for German-made Opals, is what's really happening here. What about, what about GM's newfound commitment to green cars? Well, <laughs> we actually see the 2009 Corvette in stock now. As we know, the Corvette is very gas efficient, right? And what else do we see? The Chevy Colorado, a pickup truck. Uh, the Chevy Malibu, a giant car. The Chevy Equinox, an SUV, and the Ox, we call it, an SUV. The Chevy Traverse, another SUV, another pickup truck. The Silverado, hi-ho Silverado. The Chevy Impala, $18,000, but you're getting factory rebates consisting of government money. The Chevy Avalanche, <laughs> who would drive a car called the Avalanche? 20 miles per gallon when the European cars are getting 45 or 50. The Avalanche gets 20 and brags about it. The Chevy Tahoe, taxpayer money going for the Chevy Tahoe 
to bring it down to $25,600. Just what you need to drive around in a big old Tahoe driving to work. One person with <laughs> carrying 6,000 pounds of steel. So that's, that's what General Motors is doing. And we see, uh, you know, not, not so many, not so much interest in electric cars or hybrids anymore. They do have MPGs. They did, for the first time, they are having miles per gallon on here. But there goes General Motors' commitment to hybrids and electric cars. Don't hear much about it anymore. Not only do we have a, a sea of cars here, but we have one of the, one of the things, they're, they're hauling more cars to, to customers. Now in the daytime, there's no smoke coming out of that refinery. Nighttime, there's a lot of stuff coming out. People say it's only steam. People rush past this horrible thing because of the stink. They don't realize what's going on over here. But it goes on all night long. Put a big, 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 big American flag up there. Yeah, I see. It's like Scoundrel. you wrap yourself in the flag and maybe, maybe a couple of other religious icons.